Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time to have another first look. This time it's going to be about Rodina, a space exploration game right up my alley. I haven't played around too much with it yet, I want to explore it together with you. So let's start a new game right away, we're gonna go into the normal mode. There's also a freeform mode where there are no story driven parts and a peaceful mode without enemies. Let's dive into the world, there we go. Absolutely no loading times we have been in the world all this time and it is time to acknowledge our serial number Interesting. It's suggesting Sarah, but we are actually Nathan. There we go Acknowledge beautiful. My name is Nathan. Yes, indeed. And there we go. What can we do? We can press G to toggle the light beautiful and there is a little circle I guess we have to walk towards that we are able to jump and even use a jetpack beautiful Oh, that's great and what do we have across this mountain here? We have our spaceship! I know it doesn't look like much, but you know me guys. If there's one thing I appreciate about the spaceship, then it is the sandbox elements and this ship does have a lot of them. What do I mean by that? We will see in just a second. Let's actually use that airlock. There we go. The room is properly pressurized and we shall not have any issues. Now in the spaceship itself, there are a lot of items that you cannot really use yet, such as this crate has no real use yet, but this operations computer in here you can actually access your weapons and you can check your ship's status. Here we can also open up all the doors in case of emergency. If there are a lot of fires and you don't get them under control, you will be sucked out of your ship, so you should do that at a safe spot. However, there are a bunch of rooms with mostly just decorative parts, I believe. At least we cannot use the storage chests just yet. And this ship is rather, rather confusing. However, I want to show you the rest of it before we actually continue. There is more storage stuff, some crates. And here we have a nice little corridor thing that actually leads directly into the cockpit. As you can see on the left side, we have some more quarters such as this one right here. We have a nice sleeping quarter for the captain, which is obviously myself. Here we have the archives. So this will actually eventually fill up once we find a bunch of things. And then right here, this leads into the cockpit actually. And this is actually rather confusing right here. This is a hollow screen. So what we see here is the actual outside world but there is something else if we have a look around the corner here you can see this is rather confusing so this is actually not glass this seems to be uh, some kind of a screen or protection however right here we have something very important I believe do we maybe right there yeah let's have a look in here over there we have our liminal drive this thing is crazy but we first have to actually power it up so I would say it is about time that we actually utilize oh hold on a second Okay, as I said earlier, we have to make sure that we find the correct parts in order to get our ship fully functional. For that, we go into the pilot's station and we will be greeted with a little tutorial. So space in order to move my ship up. Nice. And we can use the W key in order to move forwards. We can use the right mouse button in order to kind of strafe and clutch. This way, it's a lot easier to see in which direction you're flying while in combat. And then you can use the right mouse button and W in order to shift up. So right now we are uh, way faster as you can see. And also this little cross over there popped up. So I would say we are gonna fly over there. And it's crazy how much faster you are. If I switch back to the first speed, the docking speed, we are just so, so, so much slower. And there we go, let's speed it up again. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, there we go, here is the sight. And I guess we might want to enable the lights. And look at all the loot that is already Already there. This is gonna be very good. We can use tap in order to exit the pilot's chair and we want to go outside and have a little walk. Oh, it is dark, it is dark, but there we go. There are lots of precious modules, just one of these barrels that we can probably utilize somehow. Then we have the cruise engine upgrade. This is rather important. Now we will be actually able to shift once more, which allows us to go even faster and it's gonna be crazy fast. Then we have a data stick right here. Let's have a look at that. Oh geez, there's lots of information that I might want to have a look at later. We're gonna add that to the archives and we're also gonna pick up a lot of 
of these crates. This one was empty, sometimes there's some ammo. Yeah, look at that, some missile ammo that is gonna be rather useful, I suspect. Okay, there we go, I think I actually picked up everything. Let's just make sure and fly up slightly with our jetpack. As soon as we go into the ship again, we will actually fuel up the jetpack again. Great, so we have done that. Let's go back into our low polygon ship. Oh yeah, great, great. And I think before we actually go into the cruising speed, I kind of want to show you how you can change around your ship. You just access the airlock computer and you can modify the ship layout right there. And here you have a blueprint of our ship from the top. Isn't that crazy? This was the moment when I decided, yes, I want to buy and play this game. Apart from the exploration that you can do without any loading screens, you have a full solar system at your disposal to explore. Let's go ahead and actually load an empty map. I kind of want to design my own ship. For that, we're gonna go into the tile sets, I guess. And what can we do? Can we start with the bridge? Did something happen? And there we go. Is this a bridge? I think it is a bridge. Something like this. This could be our bridge, right? Okay, maybe let's get the map layout first. We're gonna expand this slightly. Oh geez, how does that look? And then we want a corridor leading somewhere else into a, let's say, living room, which is gonna look like this. Oh yeah, I like these shapes a lot. And then we only need one more and maybe we're gonna have one final room right here for everything else that we need. Something like that. And right here we have the exit. And this is much less confusing than before, I would say. Anyways, now we need decorative things and functional things, I would assume. We're gonna place another light right here and there. Yeah, that looks about right, what do you say? We can have like a, a bathroom on this side. Then I wanted to have the bridge right here here so we have to change this to the bridge and a hollow screen right there there we go this is where we can have a look outside then this is a corridor like that which is gonna continue all the way down here and we're gonna also make these into a corridor oh yes and then I guess we need an engineering thing over here. Can we do this and then maybe have a wall here? Well, okay, what else did I forget? A living area. This could be our living area. Come on, let me place that freaking door somewhere. I, I, I think I got a door down. I have no idea how I did it, but it actually worked out. Archives? Okay, right, now I can move these around. So do we put these in the engineering room? I could rotate it like so and then move it right into the corner here. Then we need a pressurized tank, I would say, in each room. Barrels, just because. Battery array also goes into the engineering room, I would say. Then we have a bed in the living room, just to relax a little bit. I think I'm just gonna put down stuff that actually will help us out a little bit. We're gonna have a fire extinguisher in each room those are actually rather important trust me on that then we need probably a generator which we're also gonna place here hollow screen do we need a hollow screen yeah maybe we can actually have a look outside from the bathroom <laughs> And right here, the engineering room as well. And we want to have a look outside the living area, of course. Oh, that's gonna be great. Let's place uh, two plants like so. And we need a liminal drive. Why do we want to place that? In the bathroom, I would say. I don't think you actually have to take a shower or something. Operations computer, we're probably also gonna need that. That isn't too big. Maybe we can fit it somewhere here in the bridge. That would make sense, right? Then we need a pilot's chair. Of course, we need the pilot station itself. I think this is already facing the right way, isn't it? Then we need the pilot wave radio. I think this is necessary in order to progress the storyline. So we're gonna have that right here, snuggled against the wall. Scanners, scanners, oh geez. Yeah, these are important. I hope we can just walk around those. Yeah, let's actually get the toilet right in here. Yeah, I think this was actually a good move. Okay, I think that's good enough. Is my ship functional? Yay, so how can I check if... Woo, that doesn't look like it's working. Right here, of course, we need some kind of an airlock, don't we? Is there a door now? Okay, funny story. When you actually load an empty map, you have to scroll down slightly and then you will find your airlock, which of course explains the reason why my stuff wasn't working entirely. Let me actually design a little ship for ourselves and then I'm gonna show you what I have come up with and then, of course, we are gonna go on an exploration spree.
Okay guys, I think I got something that I'm happy with. It is a little bit chaotic, but you get the basic gist of it. You can have the interior of your spaceship however the heck you want. Let me just give you the tour. Over here we have our living room cramped with the liminal drive. I also got a plant over there and I maybe should put down some more lights. Anyways, right here is the engineering room. We have the archives. We have a bunch of scanners which hopefully will also be... Oh, look at that. All of the data. That is crazy. Yeah, we have a whole asteroid belt to explore actually, so that is gonna be something. We have a bathroom with nothing in it just yet, uh, just a bunch of fire extinguishers. There should be one more yet. Yeah. We have the operations computer and over here we have the pilot wave radio and we actually have a new urgent message. And this is kind of the storyline, so I don't necessarily want to take this away from you. If you want, you can actually pause the video and read it for yourselves. Other than that, I don't want to spoil it. So there we go. Also, can we have a look at that? No, you need to find the decryption keys before opening the encrypted communications. Interesting. So I guess we will find that uh, soon enough. Oh geez, we are still wobbling and jobbling around. Okay, so there we go. Let's actually have a look where we need to go. For that, I'm gonna go switch into the next uh, speed and maybe we go into the cruising speed right away so you can see how fast we actually are right now. This is actually only a really, really tiny asteroid here. There are much, much, much bigger planets around. So let's see, what is actually the closest circle? It's kind of hard to judge. I guess we can just kind of focus on one and we're gonna try to travel towards it because we need to upgrade our drive even more. There's one more speed setting that you can actually have and I think we are pretty close to whatever the heck this is. Cruising speed is so fast. I mean, look at that. Oh yeah, it's a tiny asteroid and here we seem to be having our first fight. Yeah, look at that this is actually an enemy now we cannot really fight in the cruising speed so we will have to switch down to combat speed let's actually do that and with the left mouse button we are able to shoot we can also switch between shooting and missile so maybe let's try to shoot a missile can i actually kind of aim them properly yeah they seem to be following the enemy look at that i think we got a full hit on him let's take him out with a bunch more shots come on come on there we go I think we got him. Yeah, now he's just burning and kind of flying off into the distance. That is great, which gives us the opportunity to actually visit this loot site over there. And I think we can risk to go in cruising speed and oh yeah, this is so much fun. The flying is actually really intuitive. I kind of like the different speed meters and I like that there are absolutely no transitions between being far away to an asteroid or being close. Of course, the graphics get a little bit better the closer you are but you know what I mean no shady clouds in order to camouflage the transitions but holy gee oh man what my, my ship and your ship can actually crash so we'll have to be careful about that however oh no I'm just gonna hop out of it this is too crazy let me go let me go there we go I managed to get out of the ship oh man we went all the way down here however right now I only care about those guys what is this some more missile ammo yeah and look at that that is what we want what do we have here a data stick you know what i hate gravity and so continues the stories i kind of like that exploration aspect we can add that to our archives and have a look at that later on and that's what i'm actually gonna do i'm gonna have a look at that off camera and read it for my own pleasure there we go we got another empty crate i'm not sure what that is gonna be useful for oh the gravity is really low and what do we have here a communication decryption key so we can actually have a look at that message we couldn't have a look at before. Okay, there we go. I think we pretty much looted everything there is, at least right here, so we can fix the player and reset him back to the ship. And there we go. We are actually now within the ship. I don't think I would ever have managed to get back into it. I kind of appreciate that this feature is in there. However, what we need to do is find another loot site and hopefully we will be able to upgrade our drive to the next stage, which will allow us to actually visit one of the big planets. And that is something that I, of course, also also want to do in this video. So I'm gonna make my way towards the next asteroid and it seems as though this one will be close. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. And we are gonna stop there. Oh, there is another enemy. Battle speed right now. Oh, he's already shooting, already shooting. Let's send a few missiles, maybe three. There you go. Oh, I think we already took him out. No, no, he's still flying, still coming towards us. There we go. Oh yeah. 
and just flying off into the distance. Did we get some loot? Is this like a loot trail? I guess not, but there is some loot on the asteroid itself. And I suspect right here we will find the last upgrade that we actually need. There we go, gear down, docking speed, oh, oh yeah. I like it much better when there is actual flat terrain somewhat and also when it is bright outside. Oh guys, here we go, here we go on the asteroid. Some empty crates, some missile ammo. We have a communication decryption key again so we can even decrypt the next message and we have a data stick about an interview with Dr. Hammond Peel. Oh, look at all the reading materials add to archives, please. Gonna check that out later. I'm really curious how the storyline is actually set up in this game. And one last crate over here. There we go. Oh, that was actually a good loot, but unfortunately no drive upgrade, so we will have to look even further. Okay, let's get back into the ship and we're gonna try to find another loot site. Oh, look at that. This one seems to be close. Oh yeah, we're gonna take on this asteroid. Oh, we're so crazy fast. Look at that. Ah, this is insane. I just love it. The speeds are amazing. Just slowly approach it. Ah, yes, yes. Docking speed. Oh, geez. Don't crash with your ship. You can actually do that. You can crash your ship in one go if you are not careful. Oh, oh, oh. The ship is rolling around. <laughs> <laughs> See ya! I hope it doesn't uh, take too much damage. Yeah, we rolled down the entire mountain. Oh, that is crazy. You should not leave me in charge of a freaking ship, man. It was your own decision. However, let's pick up some more crates. Oh, there we go! Look at that! The Diagonian Crystal! The Diagonium Crystals are used to power up your liminal drive and now you can travel much faster across the solar system. Exactly what we wanted and what we needed. Did I pick up everything that is to loot? No. Oh, this might be some more story here. A data stick. Beautiful. Marek at the spaceport. Let's add that to the archives for my reading pleasure later on. However, uh, let's actually get back into the ship. I know I'm a little bit lazy, but that's just how things work. However, look at that. Now a few question marks actually popped up and I think those are actually the bigger planets if I'm not mistaken. I'm not even sure if we should approach them. What is this over there? Is this like an approaching enemy? I don't like that. Let's get into combat speed and actually check out what this thing is. Yeah, it seems to be an enemy. I think I want to send a bunch of rockets after him and then we're gonna switch to our beautiful shots. Yep, yep, yep. There we go. What do we actually get when we kill those enemies? I don't see an advantage just yet other than them protecting some kind of a loot site. However, it is time to check out our new speed. So right now we are in cruising speed which you know is already pretty fast but we can go up even more and this is what happens oh yes we are just passing <laughs> through the asteroid belt and we are getting closer to this question mark okay let's get out of this yeah the planet is in range i don't believe it it is actually still pretty far away so maybe we can use the super speed drive once whoa stop 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 <laughs> was pretty fun. I was actually also pretty lucky. This could have resulted in a crash or actually it should have resulted in a crash. And also I'm not happy that I'm actually on the dark side of the planet. So we're gonna attempt to get a little bit closer. This should be the sun, isn't it? So maybe we can go over to this loot site there and check out what is actually there. Can I use my super speed drive. Nope, not really. Okay, so we will have to get there with the cruising speed. I wonder how far we are up. I heard some of these planets are actually the size of planet Earth and oh geez, we seem to be having some atmospheric entering problems. Uh, but that is actually normal. You have to be careful not to go too quickly. Yeah, I want to get all the way. Oh, 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 warning too steep. Don't go too steep. Otherwise, your ship is going to take damage and it will even catch on fire. Something you will have to take care of. I mean, come on, guys. Look at that. This is huge. This is unbelievable. I've never been in such a huge game, actually, with this frame rate. And I know it is quite simplistic, all the, the planets and such. They could have a lot more wildlife and planet life. But, you know, I'm pretty happy with the exploration aspect. Also, we don't seem to struggle anymore with the atmosphere. And now look at that. I, you can see the terrain doesn't go by very quickly. But I'm actually in the cruising speed. This was when the asteroids just flew past me like crazy. This planet is 
huge. Let's actually go down a little bit and we're gonna try to go for a landing just to see what is going on here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, soft and gentle. Oh, not very soft and gentle. But there we go, guys. This is one of those mountains. We just flew past those guys with such a humongous speed. And yeah, this is if we would just walk around that. This is crazy. It is unbelievable. Okay, right. So where was our target? I kind of lost track of it. Ah, look at that. I think I found the loot site, actually. And an enemy, which seems to be guarding it. Right, so this enemy should be visible very soon. It looks really close, but still, still far away. This is crazy. Oh, there are actually a few enemies. Now I'm kind of scared. I'm not scared. Oh yeah, let me win this battle. This could be a glorious ending to this first look here. Oh yeah, a lot of enemies, a lot of enemies. I'm gonna switch to combat speed right now. I'm probably still really, really far away. However, they seem to be making their way towards me. Let's just see how long the missile takes. Oh, forever. We're still too far away. We have to get closer. Let's get closer. I just passed my missile and there we go. We can actually now see them. I'm gonna send a few more uh, missiles and then I'm gonna switch to my normal weapons and then we're gonna just shoot away yeah look at that we successfully hit the bunch of those and oh no 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 you don't take me on you don't take me on uh, what are they guarding it's like four of them guys even the combat even oh oh a missile lock not good not good we need to avoid that yeah we're gonna switch into another speed and avoid the missiles and this guy oh no he has some special weapons i want your weapons okay another missile lock we are gonna get away from those guys nicely done and now we're gonna lock our own missiles and we're gonna shoot this guy once more come on come on come on missile do me proud yeah uh -oh, missile missiles missiles incoming get away get away oh no 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 my ship health is only seven that is not good okay there we go let's try to shoot this guy down oh no he hits me oh no 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 ah oh no the ship crashed Fortunately, that doesn't mean game over, really. We will be restarting just kind of before the battle. Or there happened like another save of some sorts. However, guys, I think with that, I've shown you a lot of the aspects of the game. We are being attacked. Maybe we should actually go into combat speed. This little bugger is already coming for us. What the heck do you want? Do we still have our missiles? We still have 10 of them. So we're gonna spare one for you. There we go. Yeah, he took the missile and he took all of our shots. There we go. He's going down. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will leave it at that for this first look. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you are interested in the game, I highly recommend you to get it. It is still in early access, but it is kind of a polished and finished game as it is. It is only a question of adding more features if you want to. I even think it is actually moddable. The community isn't too big from what I have seen so far. But you know what? This is just one of the games that went under my radar for whatever reason. I've just recently discovered it and totally fell in love with it. However guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Have a great time and hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye bye.